Henry and I have no chill and it is November something or other and we are ready for Christmas. So we are gonna put our mini RV Christmas tree in the RV. planning on being home for Christmas um, and getting a full size tree for the house but for travel in between now and Christmas time I thought it would be fun to have a little bit of Christmas cheer I think this is a good spot for it I want to go see what it looks like from the outside real quick hee <laughs> it's so cute and maybe it'll be a happy plant because this is like a greenhouse or maybe it'll cook and that might not be good we'll keep an eye on it we had all these little tiny ornaments from when we were renting and had like a little mini fake tree. And so we made all these Sculpey ornaments one year. Casey and I got real crafty. So we have all those on there. There were some more lewd ones uh, that got left off because now we do have one of these. Is your music working? Oh, if you can't answer me. <laughs> Ooh, new navigation system. This is exciting. Okay, let's run around. We are going to spend a couple of nights at Natural Dam, which is in Crawford County Conservation District of the Ozark National Forest. Of the Ozark National Forest. It's like an ex it's not the main national That's forest. A lot. It's an extension of it that they added over here on the farm. Yes. So it's just this little <laughs> dot of national forest on the map. And um there's a natural dam, which is beautiful. The only issue is that there's no cell service and it's a Sunday, so Casey was planning on working tomorrow and a little bit the next day, so we might troubleshoot that a little bit, but otherwise, we're in a beautiful place and it's very, like, it finally got cold, so it's very cozy in the RV. We got so, all those new batteries. Oh, yeah. Do you want to tell them about it? I already filmed it. Okay, maybe Casey will insert here now his explanation of the new battery situation. So I've been thinking about battery upgrades for a little while. This is what we were rocking before. These batteries sit uh, underneath the stair here. And I got in to measure that compartment and see what we could fit and see about getting um, some better batteries. Just right when I opened it up, we were getting ready for a trip. I thought I'd check this out and it was hot and it was bubbling, and it might have just been at the top of its charge and low on water, um, but in any case, I thought, you know what, this is a good time to replace it with a fully sealed AGM or something, something quite like that. I'm off to the battery store to see what we can replace this with. So here's what I got. <coughs> Two of these, 110 amp hour, very deep cycle capable AGMs. We're gonna go from one to two. They've got a little bit more capacity than the old one had, and they're deep cycle, so we can actually probably not take them all the way down to zero, but get significantly more power out of a single battery. So we more than doubled our battery capacity, plus the old battery was busted anyway. Pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Negative to negative, positive to positive. Okay, confirmed. Works like I thought it would work. Too bad. Let's throw your battery on. We have juice. Full batteries. Wow. Sweet. Yeah, by the way, it is lunchtime, so Henry just had a sandwich. And Casey's making us some sandwiches. sandwiches. We've got our Christmas tree up front. It's very festive. What do you think, Henry? Are you excited to be out here? 
giant, giant takes. Yeah, we're gonna go see that dam. Oh, the other thing is that we're not gonna explore too far because it's hunting season and we're in a national forest. So we're gonna stay close to the road and um, RV and be safe. No hiking on this adventure. That's what happens when Henry uses the camera. I thought it was just out of focus. So we're hiking up this, hiking. We're walking up this road to see if there's like a more secluded spot to park the RV. Ooh. And maybe a flatter spot. Ooh, and I think there's a view. I see a view. We're on an adventure. I can view a view. Look at all the moss, Henry. They're on a moss kick. It's moss week. Yeah, I just brought my hatchet. I brought my hatchet. But we don't want to hatch at the moss. We want to let it be there, being moss, doing its moss thing. I think we're actually gonna drive out of here a bit since it's early and um, get back to where we have a little cell reception and just check other stuff. Cause this was our like main plan or I guess our backup plan, but there's a ton of forestry roads here. And if the RV can get up them, all of them are open for dispersed camping. So. We go back to where we can get some service and see if we can find a spot that's even more private and maybe has cell reception. If not, we'll come back here. This will be the spot for the night. Otherwise, maybe we'll find a different spot. To be continued. So gross. There's actually like some cool camp spots up here if it weren't just trashed. Shotgun shell casings everywhere. People just come back here and target practice. There you go. Mess. You know, there's not much good dispersed camping in the Ozark National Forest, and this is why. Because people don't fucking take care of it. They don't deserve it. this for a spot. Okay, just picking up the campsite. How's it going, little monkey? You got a Duplo set up? Yeah. A bunch of people down there. Paige noted that everyone was like taking family portraits in front of the dam. We've got some private land right here next to us that was posted, but this little turnaround was not. We just pulled through. What do you think of this camp spot, Henry? Not bad, huh? How many bags of garbage did you get? One trash. One trash and two recyclings? Yeah. It's pretty good. You can hear that waterfall from here. It's amazing. I can hear that waterfall from here. You can hear it from here too? Yeah. Cool. What do you have going? I'm trying to finish this sock. You're it's still working on that sock? Well, I just put it off for a long time. This is the hardest part. So You're like off. almost done with this sock. I know. I, I messed up a lot. I don't really want to show it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're making, it's called mushroom bolognese. It's just a, mu a vegetarian version of bolognese sauce and then we're gonna make spaghetti with it. Yum. And we made it before, we know it's really, really good. It's super good. Get to try out 
running the food processor on the Jackery. Henry, do you want to use the food processor? Yes. Okay, come on. Just go. Work, work, work. Do it. Dude, where are you going? I'm going to get this. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. How's it going, little bit? Pretty good. Didn't have a car, but he had to go to work, and George didn't have a work office that he's when he got to go to work too, but, he, but it's good because he's a balloon, so he's in it. So, so he put his balloon to office. He's going to take a balloon to work? Yeah. That's a pretty sweet way to get to work. Yeah. Mushroom. Mm -hmm. up our mush my mushroom mess. <laughs> the teeter totter cutting boy. Yeah. It's a bummer that there's not um, some sort of 12 volt light over this. This light requires the shore power to be hooked up so that you can. It's like he waits for you to be talking. Yeah, that does look good. This stuff instantly changes when you add the red wine to it. It's so good. Tell, tell everybody what they are. Oh, wait, there's people walking by and I feel like a weirdo. Here is a uh, tree. There's a cat. Christmas tree. Where did those ornaments come from? The answer is mom and dad made them a long time ago. Before Henry was born. Most of them. A bowl. Here's the spaghetti tongs. You see my tongs? Yes. All natural. I just meant the one, the spaghetti that's in there. <laughs> Cooking experience complete. Time to eat. Close down the hatches. Well, it's hot. That's all. Dinner's all cleaned up. Henry's doing some art. Oh, yeah. In that case. We've got our power station set up. Look, Henry, we're charging all of our batteries at the same time. What? And our phones. <laughs> everything. And you're getting your face washed. How versatile. Are we charging your iPad? No, but my iPad was already charged from the drive over. We haven't used it at all. Hey, is that BB-8? Is he driving? No, he's not. Monday morning so we need to actually kind of get a move on because Casey needs to work today <laughs> and we don't have any cell phone reception where we are so we're gonna have to move but here's the morning view the boys are out there taking it all in the fog is lifting off of the water it's beautiful so I'm gonna real quick Stay in here where it's warm and 
taken these bed apart, put the dinette together, make some breakfast for everybody. Then we just need to get everything like packed down for rolling. <laughs> um, just pacing around. Here we go. Let's do this. wrapped in towels so nothing should break while we drive it's getting more packed up Ooh, that cup fits in there that's nice a Christmas tree we need to put him on the checklist huh our Christmas tree on this I'll weigh down this other side <laughs> should put all the ornaments on the leany side oh my gosh it's so magical looking with the Doing? I don't know how to tell. You have room over here. Okay. So I have to come at it at an angle. All right, I'm clear over here. How's my back wheel? Good. Did it? No, you're good. All right. Woo yeah, you've got room over here. That is most uncomfortable. <laughs> God damn. That might be where we camp tonight. That was our first spot. It's kind of a parking area, so I don't think we're technically like supposed to. But for a Monday night, I feel like it's no biggie. So foggy. We just had to like turn around like three times. Not really. We had to do some backing up and turning around at the gas station because we have only gotten gas a couple times in the what would it be called? The hole that the gas goes in. It's in the very back, like on the back. But we, in our memory, it was like right in the middle. Actually, it's on the driver's side. So we had to turn around and get backed in and take up two pumps. And we're finally getting gas. So Casey's out there somewhere pumping gas. Um, it's kind of amazing that we've only had to get gas a couple of times. So... I guess the plan after this is to kind of like post up somewhere where Casey can check in with work and everything and then eventually head back out to the natural dam and camp in the little parking area tonight. Came into town for some gas before we camp for another night. Our gas was kind of low. We don't really need a lot of gas. We would need some to get home but it gives me confidence because we can always run our generator if we just absolutely needed to for some reason. So we need more than half a tank of gas for that to run. So filled up on gas, eat some lunch. It's the first time getting to use this. I'm getting a solid 80, 90 watts on our Jackery. There's a million birds and Henry's so excited. Come on. They're all in this tree, but earlier they were flying over. Listen to them. They have a lot to say. We're at a park in Van Buren on the river, uh, so Casey can work for a little while. He's over there. Um, and Henry and I are just going to explore and get some exercise and stuff while he gets some stuff done. There's a train, train bridge, there's some boats back there. One thing about traveling like this and like, I don't know, being anywhere unfamiliar is sometimes parks can be kind of sketch. And, you know, being in like the train factory area can be especially that way. But luckily, Google has reviews on everything. So there were reviews in this park. Holy moly. What is that sound, Henry? Is that a truck or something? Yeah, the reviews on this park. 
park were pretty good. It said the bathrooms were not nice, but we have our own bathroom, so that doesn't matter. Sorry, Geesey, we don't have any treats for you. And I'm kind of glad, because even if we did, we wouldn't have enough for everybody. So we're gonna explore this trail, see where it ends, check out the train bridge. Just get some exercise. Are we getting some exercise? Yeah. All right. Getting some work done. I got lots of good signal. Also, look at this cool mural. It's got it's got the whole entirety of time. We've got the age of dinosaurs, prehistoric mammals, prehistoric grasslands, modern day wildlife like bobcats. Woodlands, that's where we're camping. You know, I was worried about this park being sketchy. Yeah. And it's not bad. I wouldn't want to stay here at night. And I looked and I saw the name of this park is Mike Myers Park. I know, I know. I know. Uh, it's okay, just keep walking. Goose poop. Walk in the grass. You fuckers. That's nasty. Watch out for goose poop. Henry, go around. Don't step in it. Poultry plant has these half cab trucks. You can't really tell from this angle, but it's only got a driver's seat. It looks so bizarre when it's driving around. Did anybody else have a toy like this in the 90s? I feel like I did. It's weird, but it's cool. Van Beer in Arkansas. Across the river's Fort Smith. Very industrial town. I know, right? There's got to be like a operator on that thing that you radio ahead to, you know? It just looks not in use. Did you find a ball? What is that, Mom? I don't know. Is it from this tree? This is a sycamore. It is. I see one over there. Maybe we'll get lucky. And a train will go by. It's probably deep over there. Because there's a series of locking dams downstream from here to get all the way down to Little Rock. Well, there's something. I think that might be an alarm that the bridge is about to come down. Hell, it could be anything. That could just be the lunch bell. We don't know. It's coming. <laughs> is that the one that you saw? I don't That's in Arkansas know. and Missouri. This bridge is not coming down. Stop train. It's a wave. Ah. Henry, this train went right by our house. More than likely. Not yet. He's stopping. Can you guys believe that we got to see this? That's good timing. It's been a horn. The horn that played earlier went off again. Henry, why don't you pretend to be the bridge operator and say, toot toot, it's time to cross. No. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see the caboose. It's time to head back north into the National Forest and we're going to try and find a truck stop and um, put a little water in our tank because we ran out. Oh, there's more than two spots. There's plenty of spots. We'll find. It's Monday. It's dead out there. We'll find spots. Dad definitely stepped in. <laughs> yeah, I know I stepped in goose poop. Alright, let's get it ready to roll. Corner. In 600 feet, turn left onto Jefferson Street. Now let's see. Try and catch the same way out that we came in. 
because there was that no trucks way. We're headed back to the National Forest to camp another night. Um, but on the way we've stopped a few times and we're at a gas station now and Casey's gone in to ask if we can fill up our water tank. Hopefully they say yes and there's a spigot somewhere we can hook our hose up to. We're just trying these tiny gas stations hoping that someone, I mean obviously they have a spigot <laughs> somewhere, but someone has to know about it and let us use it. The irony that we're crossing this water on a quest for water. I know. <laughs> the place! It's campground. He said, if y'all don't find anything in the forest, come back. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to stay out here? Casey wants to stay out here. I don't know. It's got cell phone to. signal. Yep, still a quarter. Okay. Still a quarter. <laughs> we got water at the campground that we just drove a little off to get to. When you fill up water, like, you get a pump and you pump it from like a stream or something. That's known as a country fill in the RV industry. And even though we use someone's hose, I still feel like that was a country fill. <laughs> yeah. we, just did. we only did about like a little more than a quarter of a tank because we've only got one more night. We're gonna head back into the forest and camp. And then we have to head out kind of early in the morning because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. We don't want to drive in the rain. In case he's gotta get back so he can do some work. Tomorrow's another weekday. Another we have to whisper because Henry fell asleep. Still vlog. <laughs> Y'all don't even know what kind of big deal that is. Okay, here, let's come out here so we can. We're talk back loud. in the forest. Let's go talk loudly. Okay, so we're in those that parking area at the bottom of the natural dam. And it's a Monday night, so there's a lot less people. There's only two cars here right now. There's still plenty of room for lots of people to park. We don't so this is the same, this is the first spot we scouted yesterday. Yeah, we were actually gonna camp here yesterday. And we left and came back and it was full, right? Yeah, we Isn't that what happened? We couldn't get in and-, and um, It was for the best. We don't wanna take space where people need to be. We're parked better too. We're in a different kind of corner. Yeah, we it's redid more level. our parking. And, and look, there's a little burnout spot so we can be the not first people to do a little fire even and there's another little burnout spot back here behind this rock so that could be cool look at this. is that it I mean? right there that is it yeah right there yeah, that is where we no that's the <laughs> oh in, the in my face right it was there. right yeah <laughs> that's where we camped last night and now that we gonna know, there it. was no hunting we didn't hear a single gunshot last night so our tree looks really at home in the forest <laughs> Since Henry's napping, we're gonna do a little bit of food prep outside. Tonight we're making this um, potato and cauliflower curry. You ready to cut some chicken? Yeah, let's do it. Everyone's gonna the, know. The smelliest meal you could choose. Curry is happening. The pot is very full. Naan, rice, still a few things to go in that. Christmas music. And Christmas, Christmas music. Jazz. And our lights, these lights come on automatically, so it's very cheerful. Are you gonna dance some more? Just some dancing. Let's see it. <laughs> Like real dancing. Whoa! What have you been watching? Where did you learn to dance? Are you watching videos on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Grandpa Pa? No, no, you chase me. Chase you? Okay. <laughs> Curry review.
reveal. Ooh. That looks good. God, it's so much food. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna bring it home. In our bellies, in the black tank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> come on, you guys. Come on. That was good. Did you hear my good one? In the black tank. This has been the trip of feasts. <laughs> Look at all this food. There's rice, naan, one kind of curry, another kind of curry. Mm -hmm. I am uh, feeling like Hot. our YouTube channel is going to take some uh, spin off and be like a channel. RV, RV cooking. cooking, but you could do it in a kitchen. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of cooking here. It's not our main focus, but we're going to cook a lot. It's my main focus. No, I'm in focus <laughs> to talk about my main focus. <laughs> oh, Paige's man. main focus is the, this mole right here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's eat. Why? What you working on, kiddo? Puzzle. I can't decide which piece goes with this piece. Well, you know what I see? I see this metal pattern right here. See that metal? It looks like X's. See if you see any other pieces up here that have metal. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if that one fits. Hey, tell them about the luxury that you're experiencing right now. Why is warm? Hot water. We found out after running the heater all night last night. It was like 30 degrees, so it was pretty good and cold. And after running the heat all night, we used like eighth of a tank of gas. So it's like, we're rich with gas. Go nuts. Use the hot water heater. How's it going, Henry? You're really close to done. Did you do it? Yeah. Nice job. I got two more. You want to do them? Yeah. Okay, let's do them. Look at all the coffee you've made. See it? In there? All right, that's what you have to do. They're making decaf. That's why we're making coffee at night. This is like our old people addiction that we've gotten is decaf at bedtime. Because of Tosh. Tosh and Courtney. Shout out. <laughs> They're pretty equal in size. I don't care. Give me what looks like the better one. And from dinette to bed. I think you got the best bed in the house. Say night night, YouTube. Night night YouTube. Night night the band YouTube. Night night Bono. Night night Edge. Night night the other two that no one knows their names. We're leaving. Ah! <laughs> He's so dramatic. Oh sorry. We have to pack up and leave. Ah! Casey has to get some work done today, and it's supposed to rain, so we're gonna try to head out in the next hour. Yep. So we can get home before it starts raining. We don't really have windshield wipers. I think is a fair way to describe the windshield wipers. No, we have windshield wipers. I just don't, <laughs> they don't look very good. They don't good. do anything. We're going home today. We're gonna see, this is the test. I don't have my watch on even, but we woke up and it's time to go. We have an hour to leave. Oh. We'll make some cheesy eggs. Oh yeah, look. And I'm then go home cheese. and see if I can be home in time for my meeting that I called. For some reason, yeah. yesterday. It wasn't like I've had this on my calendar yesterday. I was just like, hey, whole team, let's meet at 10.30. <laughs> Henry, how much cheese is left for the eggs? Yeah, it looks like you've been eating on the cheesy grated. He has, he just stops and eats it. <laughs> cheese, cheese, cheese. What kind of cheese is this one, Gouda? Gouda. It's gonna be so Gouda. Gouda comes from water. Comes from water. Water Gouda. <laughs> I'm just trying to hustle and get us a little bit more packed down. I gotta get the table broken down. This time around I bungee corded the tree because <laughs> it kept falling down. Sorry, Henry can't stand if someone else is talking and it's not about him. 
which I can relate to honestly. So I bungeed it to the little sprayer thing. Hopefully that doesn't break anything. <laughs> Just gotta do a little cleaning up and we'll be able to get out of here. I hear the drone. So maybe we're being filmed. Maybe we can film the drone back. <laughs> when Henry was a baby, he was afraid of the drone because it's loud. Um, but now it's like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so he's watching it fly out there. We've got everything packed up. I've just locked all the outside bins and Casey left his coffee cup somewhere while he was flying the drone so he's tracking that down. I think we're pretty much ready to roll. Look at these little turkey tail mushrooms. They're so beautiful and so timely because it's Thanksgiving in a couple of days. See that? They look like little turkeys and all the moss. I mean <laughs> I'm so tempted to just like take this log home but I don't know what I would do with it and it belongs in the forest. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, we're supposed to be going. <laughs> Henry, here's your water bottle. Thank you. You're welcome. I would like a snack. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to get out? No, I took a good look at it. Okay, well, I I've got my just... shoes on if you need me. Casey, it was stressful, and I only knew that because you told me. I think can't. It's only bad for like ten miles. There was like one time I could tell that the wind blew us because we it went the time way that we were all the way over. over. <laughs> yeah, the most of the time he's correcting, and I can't tell. Yeah. So. Overcorrecting. We're home now. It's done. Um, it's crazy because our house always feels like some kind of mansion. Oh my god! Like it's enormous. Be so great. After... Henry's gonna go play in his own room and just I be know. like, "Screw you guys." It's like, oh, separate rooms. It's cool. So